Hey, what's going on you guys? Chad Christian coming at you with another exciting video. I've got a good one for you gamers here today. This is the Alienware 17 R4. I'm going to show you some recent AAA titles such as Doom, Battlefield 1, Overwatch, and others. So make sure you stay tuned in the video for that. I'm also going to go over the hardware specs and everything that you can expect out of the performance of this bad boy. So, here we go. This comes with Windows 10 operating system, a 17.3 QHD display, which is 2560 by 1440, 6th gen Intel Core i7-6700HQ mobile processor, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, a 1 terabyte hard drive, which is mechanical, and a 128 gig solid state drive. This does have the 120 hertz G-Sync panel, comes with Tobii tracking, and an NVIDIA GE Force GTX 1070. It weighs 9.74 pounds and measures 1.2 inches. I hope you guys brought Brought some popcorn and you're ready to sit down and watch this this is a full-length in-depth review and at the uh, about the last 15 minutes or so I do a video game series where I show you the frames per second what modes I'm in what they look like and they are the latest AAA titles so I hope you guys uh, appreciate those so without further ado let's check out the hardware on this bad boy now you can see on the outside, this is an aluminum and plastic build. Very nice build quality. I think uh, Alienware is getting back to its roots. Now this is not a portable style, you know, gaming laptop. If you want one of those, look at more like the Razer Blade or one of the other ones. This is a gaming monster beast. So with that in mind, just remember this is a bigger system. And over on the left hand side you've got your headphone jack, your microphone input, a USB, a USB-C Thunderbolt 3 adapter. And on the back you've got your power adapter, your external GPU interface for just the uh, Alienware, another USB-C Thunderbolt 3, an HDMI, a mini display port, and your Ethernet adapter. Over on the right hand side you've just got your ventilation system and another USB 3.0 adapter. And on the front you've got um, your dual front facing firing speakers and this does has a, have a built in subwoofer so this is the best sound system I think. Uh, even better than the new MacBook Pro 15. So you can see here on the front, this does have an IR camera system, so it does have the Allo login system, which is really nice. And just a beautiful build. You can see here, though, that it is a fingerprint magnet, so you will have to, uh, you know, keep a cloth nearby to keep this bad boy cleaned up. I would say the main advantage of getting this system, even though it's over 9 pounds, is the fact that it just it keeps it super cool. You know, I have the Razer Blade 14, which is great, you know, with the 1060 uh, graphics processor, but it does, it gets warm when you're playing it and the fans get super loud. So because this is a bigger system, the ventilation is a lot better. The exhausts on the back blow that air out. It doesn't get hot anywhere on the surface at all. So they did a good job of that. Now you can see here that this does has an, uh, has an RGB light for the touchpad, which is really cool. Now this does have a glass trackpad and you can see it has two mechanical buttons, a left and a right button there. They do feel really good. Uh, I actually prefer them over some other styles. Now this has 2.2 millimeters of travel, so it's, it is really nice. Old school keyboard, love that. Plus all the LED lighting on the side, so this is a beautiful machine. Let me show you what this looks like in the dark. You can see that I've got different areas lit up with different colors just to show you that um, I mean, you can make this any way you want. You can customize this. You could have a hundred of these systems side by side and you can make every one of them look different. The one thing with this Alienware system, whether you get the 17, the 15, or the 13, is you are going to stand out in the crowd. I mean, when you have this, uh, people know you're serious about your gaming and, uh, you know, in my opinion, this is the most beautiful laptop that I've ever owned. So if you want something that's beautiful, this is your, you know, your desktop replacement. This is the system. The fact that it has the external GPU, you know, that increases your longevity of the system. So when newer cards come out, you can just pop it into that external system. I mean, you could literally use this for, you know, three to seven years and not worry about it. 
Now the system that I have here came with Windows 10. You can see that it has the Intel Core i7-6700HQ 2.6 GHz processor, 16 gigs of RAM. No, these do not have the new uh, KB Lake processors because they don't have quad-core KB Lake processors. As far as the battery life is concerned, on this one I can get around three, three and a half hours of normal to moderate use. Of course, if you're going to do any type of gaming, you can expect to get around an hour, sometimes hour and a half, really just depends. Um, I like to use that Battery Bar Pro. It tells me everything there is to know about my battery life, and um, it works pretty good. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link down below. Now one thing that's really cool is this, uh, you know, because it's an Alienware, it has its own proprietary software. So this one is the Alienware Sound Center, which does allow you to change a lot of different things as far as, you know, your bass and your treble, speaker location. If you plug in an external speaker, you can tell it what kind of external speakers you have. So they did a really good job as far as the sound system goes which you want them to do that you know this is your gaming system you want to be serious about it right you want to plug in peripherals and it says hey you have a microphone attached to that headset do you want to use it so very cool that they have this in here just a, an added bonus for you gamers you can control everything from the games you know the, the video the audio so good job on that now another piece of software that you have on here is the Alienware Tactics, as you can see. This allows you to set up any of the macro keys over there on the left hand side, which is nice. So say you wanted to shoot your weapon, throw a grenade, and then stab somebody, <laughs> which, yeah, that would be unusual. But hey, you could do that if you want to do that. That's what's cool about having these macro keys. So that's what the left side is dedicated for. You can see that uh, you can change all those different grids on the color system which is really cool. I mean, I like my razor blade because each individual LED is lit up, but there is a lot to changing those. I like the fact that this, if I just click on a section, I change the color, it's just changed. So, you know, it, both of them are really cool. They're just, they're different. They're unique in their own right, but I, I really like the way the Alienware laid this out for you. I think it's, um, it stands itself apart from the rest of the gaming systems. Just another advantage of getting, you know, an Alienware system. If you're going to pay that premium and you're going to carry around a system this big, we might as well get all the bells and whistles, right? And another piece of software that they have is the Alien Fusion. This allows you to change a lot of the things that you normally control with your Windows preferences. So you can see here, you can change when you want your hard disk to time out, if you want it to turn on or off, uh, your wireless adapters, if you want it to be maximum performance, you know, if you're plugged in, or if you don't want it to use, you know, as much. Um, as much power consumption if you're on battery. Same with the USB settings, uh, the display. So this is really cool. It, it lets you tweak the performance of the system depending on what you want to use it for. So very cool. Now you can also see in this adrenaline mode, we can change all of those features depending on which game and style we want. So I could actually say, hey, for Battlefield 1, when I'm away, which means I'm not plugged into a system, I want it to use all of these changes, and you can do that. Now this is one cool thing with uh, you can track with the Adrenaline software. You can actually track, you can record this too in real time. So you can see the button to start recording. I can track my CPU, my memory, my Wi-Fi, uh, and the graphics card. So this allows you to really get in there and look at it. Uh, again, if you want a graphics amplifier, which is on sale right now, I believe for $160. You can throw in any card you want on it and uh, rock out. Now, as far as the speaker systems go, you can see here that I've got a decibel meter set up. And once I crank up the volume on this, you can get around uh, 80 to 90 decibels. So this is extremely loud. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you're not going to replace your home stereo with this, but this is loud. This is the loudest system that I've ever used before. What's up, Cube? I wish I could play you on here, but might get a copyright ding so we won't do that just gonna have to imagine what he's saying right now <laughs> but yeah sound system absolutely incredible I give that a 10 out of 10 for the sound way to go on that Alienware thank you I wanted to show you for lap ability thanks Microsoft for coming up with that but you can see it's a pretty big system but you can use it comfortably on your lap you know I'm a big boy so it doesn't really bother me but if you're a small frame person it might not be too hot for you
Now, speaking of hot, let's listen to the fan noise. Now, I've been playing games for about an hour, hour and a half on here. Just wanted to show you the audible level. So go ahead and uh, listen. It's not even warm to the touch. None of it. It's, it's barely lukewarm. Unbelievable. You can feel the heat coming out of the side, but... You can feel it blowing the air out of the back. Great ventilation system. Now let's go over the disk speed. So this is the SSD. This one comes with a 128 gig SSD. So you can see your reads 545 and your write is around 300. On the mechanical drive, it's more like 146 for your read and 136 for your write, which is pretty standard. Now on my 3D scores, I got a 5202 on the Time Spy. You can see how that rates up. It says it's almost equivalent to a 4K gaming system. So this thing is ridiculous for a laptop. It's absolutely beautiful. What do you think? Now let's see what it looks like for games. And I'm going to let the games speak for themselves right. on the rest Take of the video. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think. You can see that I've got the resolution set to 2560 by 1440. I play everything on Ultra. So this is Witcher 3, and as you know, this is it's a dog on the GPU and the CPU. Average, uh, averaging around 45 to 50 frames per second. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. Now again right here you can see I've got it set to 2560 by 1440. Everything's cranked all the way up as high as it can go. This uh, I'm using OpenGL and I will use a different mode and the uh, last half of this Doom video. So this is the new Doom. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to let the game show you what it's got. Now you can see here I'm getting anywhere from 80 to over 100 frames per second. This game just flies on here. We have to contain this. Now this time let's uh, change the settings to match the Vulcan. Now the Vulcan is uh, 
makes the games run faster. They allow the frames per second to go faster. They do something with the memory where they um, they make it not so memory intensive. The textures, the details, it's, it's just a different API to run the game in. Think of it as like a mod. So if you added a different mod, this would be like the faster mod. So here's what it looks like. Overwatch. So this one is running at 2560 by 1440. You can see it's set at 120 frames sync, but I am going to go ahead and change this now. So let's do uh, unlimited frame cap. You can see that everything is set on ultra and high. It's the highest uh, settings that we can get it set to. So let's see what it looks like. Two, one, round one, capture the objective. Now it's time for one of my favorites of the year, Battlefield 1. Same thing again, 2560 by 1440. You can see it's set at 120 hertz. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have my frames per second meter up on this, but I can guarantee you this is running uh, way over 60 frames a second. As you can see, it's absolutely flawless. So I'm going to let you see what the game looks like on the laptop. Here you go. Trooper kit is available near your location. And that's going to do it for my review video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you would, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video.